In this video, we'll discuss why the order of what's defined in our app.js file is very important. In doing so, we'll introduce the concept of mounted middleware. We'll then take a look at the bundled express packages of Morgan, Body Parser, and Cookie Parser. Finally, we'll take a look at how routing works in Express. In order to explain and demonstrate how the order in our main server file is important, I'm going to open up our app.js file from our starter app folder. The variables at the top define the packages that are shipped with the express auto-generated template. The routes and users variables define where we'll be creating our routes. We then define an app variable so that we can use express methods. And here is where you can find documentation on each of these methods under API reference version 4.x. Getting back to our file, we first see an app.set. This pretty much always comes first and will define our templating and where our view files will live. The only exception to this is when we have to actually declare an engine. So certain templates like Swig and Handlebars require us to declare what templating engine we're going to be using. Others, however, like Jade and EJS, don't actually require us to declare the engine. They only require that we set our views to the actual folder where our view files will live. Everything else below the set method can be described as middleware. Notice also that everything below uses the app.use method. Middleware can be thought of as any number of functions that are invoked by Express.js routing layer before your final request handler is made. So we're basically mounting any number of app.uses or functions in between the beginning of an HTTP request and the end of the HTTP response. And we'll have a full video to explain this concept in greater detail. For now, understand that the order in which we are defining our app.uses determines which one gets called first. So a very common example of how this works is the popular module called Express Session. Express Session basically tracks user activity and you can log certain requests based on that and it depends on cookie parser. So if you were using an earlier version of Express Sessions up until version 1.5, you would have to declare cookie parser first. If we were to use Express Session up above here, and again, this would be after that we downloaded and required this particular module, then we try to use it above before using cookie parser, then it would throw an error. So the idea is that each one of these uses is mounted before the other. So moving on to defining what some of these other packages that we've included in Express actually do, we see app.use logger. And logger is the variable that we've defined from Morgan up here. So Morgan is a middleware that's going to log data into our console. So when we turn on our server and navigate to our URL, it will give us information back to the console of whether we're using gets or puts or deletes. So I've currently started this server. And as you can see, on our console, it's logging get dash 304 and the amount of time that it's taking to navigate to this to this route and download the style sheets and the favicon which isn't there so all this logging information is a result of logger or morgan 
Next is body parser, and body parser basically allows us to use the request.body to retrieve data from the front end. So in many express examples, if we're getting form data or if we're passing certain objects from our front end in order to grab them, we're using the request.body middleware function. Next, the express.static method gives us access to the public folder so that we can use everything in that folder like our CSS, JS, images, etc. So it allows us to use everything in this file right here. At the bottom here, we're defining an app.use to look for the definition of our routes. So up above, we declared a variable of routes and users to look in our routes folder at our index file to define routes at the index or you could say the main entry point of our app itself. So when we do that, when we look in our route slash index file, we're defining one route at the base of our URL or the index of our URL and we're rendering in this instance our index view file. So this is using the router method, which is just a convenience. It's a way to abstract out routes into a separate file instead of defining everything within one large app file. This router was created in Express 4, and as mentioned, it's just convenience. We don't have to define our routes that way. We could define everything in the same file. And we could instead use the app.get. So this is ex essentially the same code that we find in our index.js, except we're using the app.get, but it's it's equivalent. And you can see that it's equivalent because I just changed the message instead of instead of saying express. I change the message to welcome to express and you can see that we're getting welcome to express. In this instance we're using app.get but all the restful verbs apply and are available to us so we could use get, put, post, and delete verbs as well.